and we're back. Uh, originally, I was gonna, I was planning on just letting the videos load to YouTube first, and then doing it later. But seeing as it's taking like an hour and a half to upload, um, I just decided I was gonna keep going. Oh, um, okay. There's an energy tank there. Uh, how do you know that? Uh, it's the only uh, single block that enemies don't aren't spawning out of. Okay, so now let's see if this is crate or not. Oh, yes it is. So it looks like this is the uh, really good fixed version. Uh, there's only one other thing that we can do to check if this is my version or the other version, and we'll only be able to see that at the end of the game. Um, has to do with the entrance to Turian. Spikes. Sp claws. Sp good lord. Just get up there. I don't feel like wasting super missiles on him. He's too easy. Says me as I get hit by spikes and all sorts of other random flailing attacks. Does he have more health in this thing? He seems to be taking longer than I normally that arm sucking today. I don't know. Anyways. Kraid's easy. I enjoy Kraid fights, but they're really easy all the time. So... Pff, way to jump on the only spike pit. Anyways, he's really easy. Uh, I enjoy the fights. I like it a lot when the, um when people increase his health. Because then the f the fight's really a fun one, but it's over so fast, the the fun factor's just lost. So, yeah. That's one of the things that uh, Aerial Blast is going to, is changing for me. He's making the, um, Crade fight harder. I said like two, three, four times harder, uh, but I'm kind of excited because he's saying that he's having trouble beating him. I don't know how good he is at fighting Crade, but it sounds like it's going to be an epic fight, which I'm really looking forward to. Heck, I'm just looking forward to the Sigma boss rush in general. It sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. Oh yeah, you can see, this block is backwards, signifying that there is something here. That door opens after Kraid, it allows you to go up here and get another energy tank in red-looking criteria. Red criteria was never used in the game. If it was, I think it was used like during the escape, but it was hardly noticeable because there were so many other effects going on. Uh, whatever the case may be, it's very uncommon. It doesn't really look good. Um, it's so blindingly red. Uh, it's it's barely used by people, even ROM hackers. So now we are out of Crade's area. Um... I, oh yeah, now it's time to head towards the wrecked ship area, but first we are going to go and get back my charge beam that I've missed. I'm still annoyed that I missed that. That was... That was a simple jump, and I missed messed it up. Oh well. Ah! Stupid Zealas. Stupid Scree. Yeah, this pipe, super missiles. Need them to get them. Also, yeah. Hidden missiles. You could see that those were backwards 
just another hint that something is here. I'm not going to say searching for items again. Jet elevators! We're in the future! And now, space pirates. Wall pirates. Ceiling pirates? Oh god, scrolling. Scrolling. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I for Oh god. I don't recall those guys being there. I guess I've always gotten that missile beforehand. Ow. Anyways. This time we're gonna get... Charge beam without... Die! Oh god damn it! And I hit wall spikes. God! Fuck me. No, please don't. Good. I'm not this bad at th I'm not bad at this game. I swear, guys. I is good. There we go. There's the charge beam. I think the reason I'm doing badly or not as good is because I'm playing on a controller. I figured I might as well. Because I'm actually kind of a, um, a slowdown fiend. Slowdown rewind fiend. Because I use the SNES. And so I figured that using a controller would, like, prevent that sort of thing. Because, I mean, it's pretty much cheating. Okay, this fooled me for the longest time. I mean, yes, it's obvious you can go down here. That, but that's not what fooled me. For the longest time, I could not find high jump. But look. There's an arrow right there. Right there. <sighs> okay, yeah. Arrow right there. And right above me was the high jump. Searching for items. I, I'm going to stop saying that because it sounds really stupid after a while. But anyways, yeah, that's an example of just how well... or There's hints to this stuff, but just how much you have to be watching for this sort of stuff as you're playing the game. you got to really watch out... Missiles. you got to really watch out for... Your um, where you're going, what you're doing, and if you if you really want to get everything. Which, I don't know if we're going to get everything. I think we're going to try and get as much as we can. Um, I know where all the items are in the game, so we'll probably end up with something like 90 plus percent. Um... I'm coming up on my time, so I'm actually going to stop it here. Bad place to stop. I'm going to stop it here because I'm reaching the limit. Um, when we pick up next, we are going to fight uh, Fantoon and get uh, get some beams and a couple of other things. So this has been Fire Phoenix. I'll see you in a, for part four.